this is Kaylin Kim and Xian M for Just Thank You and Young Pro Keys competition. These are our five contents, business and industry, current problem, solutions, risk, and lastly, the brief. This is our business candles model. To pick some up from them, Current Army is their key partners. They have Facebook and Instagram for their channels, but they're both unused. Their key activities was being on Tukbang Ebu by eliminating accidents after being used for a year. They also have several planned key activities too. Being focused on mental health is their value propositions. To talk about the customer relationships, they only focus on B2B rather than B2C. Their customer segments are any community groups, especially for company and school. They have a small revenue streams, currently earning 1,201 from bear and angel emoji. They have key resources such as financial and intellectual resources. This is our industry analysis. They actually have no market competitions because they're their unique style of community application. But the big sum, thankfully and band can be the most similar ones. This is our SWOT model for strength, weakness, opportunity, and lastly threats. Their positive factors are having no budget for marketing and being recognized by the Korean army. Also, they're in a blue ocean field and they have a possibility that people who use this app in their army can spread this application to their friends. But in contrast, they have no marketing manager, has not done any marketing, not using any SNL channels, and having no information of targeting customers. Also, they are getting threads from other SNS applications too. This is our past model for politics, economics, social, and lastly, technological. Coronavirus requires the treatment and rehabilitation of mental illness. Also, the budget for mental health in 2019 was 1.5% from the total health budget, but the WHO recommendation is 5% over the total. So with all the various ideas to build a community from now on. However, since there are no steps for marketing and marketing has not been considered as a major focus, our team thought that the main problem is that the direction and seem to just thank you pursues might not be exactly conveyed to the potential users. They don't have any unique marketing strategy because they focused on B2B services instead of B2C since it was too difficult to target customers. However, this conflicts with their plans to develop the opportunity for everyone to express their appreciation. Our team realized that the SNS account of Just Thank You can be used more with other great marketing skills that can stimulate more diverse communities. Thus, our team would dissect media and marketing among main aspects of the business. Our first strategy to tackle Just Think You's problem is to start an online challenge using TikTok and Instagram Reels. First, ambassadors for Just Think You or the company itself will make a live video. The format of the video is to record one or two seconds of appreciation they experience during the day and will be about 30 seconds long for total. Once the live video is uploaded, we will contact famous influencers of TikTok and Instagram and request them to start the challenge, explaining the purpose of this challenge and Just Thank You. After that, many creators will get on the bandwagon, creating a big social trend of gratitude challenge. The advantage of using these SNS platforms is that it actively reflects the trend of the present day, and by doing so, this challenge will affect various people all around the world. It is also adequate for the pandemic because they do not have to meet others to participate in this challenge. The strategy is quite simple and easy, but also effective. Our team expects this strategy would take about two weeks for the challenge to be spread widely. It seems to be not sustainable, however, the ultimate purpose is to make people join in the community and the social stream of gratitude. Even if the challenge stops someday, it would be fine if it has spurred numerous people into joining Just Thank You, and it can also start a big social flow of gratitude. The biggest risk or milestone of the strategy would be this question, how should we make people participate? If no reward is given, it would be difficult to motivate more people to participate in this challenge. So our team is going to suggest that some points can be used in gift shops should be given to the participants. If an adequate amount of points are given as a basis and bonus points are given depending on the popularity and sincerity of the video, more people will participate with better videos. However, additional challenges exist to manage the system. The company should have enough time and employees to select outstanding videos and to give points to them. Also, the influencers will have to accept our request since starting the challenge is the most important and difficult part. These are the examples of the guide videos that we made.
Two strategies, TikTok and Instagram Reels Challenge, and after graduate space, got the best scores. TikTok and Instagram Reels Challenge got a high score regarding the budget and time and was evaluated as the most efficient strategy. On the other hand, the outer grid to this space got a high score regarding effectiveness and readiness for public and its influence was big enough to cover the low score of budget and time. The yearbook and subscriptions both had still high scores, but we thought that the impact was not enough to stimulate a lot of people into just thank you. Therefore, the best strategies we found would be TikTok and Instagram Reels Challenge and Outdoor Gratitude Space. Implementation Timeline We have four steps for TikTok and Instagram Reels Challenge, three steps for Outdoor Gratitude Space, also three steps for Yearbook, and lastly, four steps for subscriptions. Thank you for listening to our speech.